That's right, I'm talking about a video game today. So, Carnival Games. Everyone knows it. Every generation had one. But has it really been the greatest thing in the world since its conception in, uh, when was it, uh, 2007, I think? Well, let's explore that today. We'll be starting this dissection of the Carnival Games series with the first entry on the Wii, released August 27th, 2007. Now, I personally have never played this version of the game, but through playthroughs I've seen online and just screenshots that I've looked up on Google Images, it looks like a mediocre party game that you'd find on the Wii in like a shovelware bin. Cause that's all these games really are, just shovelware. Small mini game collections that moms buy when they don't know what to get their kid for their system. But for what it was, it was all right, kind of mediocre, but it, it does invoke good nostalgia from fans of the series today. The concept of the game is simple. It's a game full of carnival-esque minigames based around this thing. What's more important about the Carnival Games series is that along with the Wii version, a DS version was released, I think on the same day, I couldn't find anything about it. But the DS version is the best version of Carnival Games you will ever find. Again, the concept of the game is simple. You play through a bunch of carnival-esque mini-games, but instead of using a Wii remote, they're all designed around this thing. Oh wait, I lost mine. Now unlike the Wii version, I did actually own this game uh, a, a while back. I got it at a GameStop for my blue Nintendo DSi. I remember it fondly. It was probably the most fun time filler game that I had. And I specifically remember this frog flinging one and the, uh, what are they called? The, the, the cutouts, the cut, that's what they are, right? Yeah, the cutouts, I think they're cutouts that, you know, you'd like take pictures with at a carnival. But if you got on it in them, I guess in them, I don't know, I don't really know. Uh, you'd be rewarded with items, which is another thing that Carnival Games offers. Cosmetic items rewarded by completing minigames, gaining tickets, and purchasing them. Now, not all of the cosmetics are gained by purchasing them through tickets. Some are won as prizes through the minigames. But the best ones, in my opinion, were found around the overworld in the DS version, which might I add, is exclusive to the DS version. The Wii version did not have this. It just had a simple menu where you could go through with like signs, which I thought think is pretty cool still. Carnival Games was a commercial success, prompting Cat Daddy Games to make a sequel for it called New Carnival Games, released on September 27th, 2010. I have never played these games i've never seen these games i never even heard about these games until researching for this video so i will not be commenting on them what's more important about the commercial success of carnival games is the sequel released on november 6 2018 just called carnival games for the xbox one playstation 4 and nintendo switch which is what we'll be looking at today now, I actually do own this version. I have it with me right here. You can see it. Yep, that's it. Yet again, the concept of the game is relatively simple. You play through a bunch of carnival-esque mini games, but instead of using a Wii remote or a DS stylus, they're all centered around this thing. Oh wait, they're not, but we'll get more into that later. For now, let's just insert the game cartridge and see what Carnival Games has to offer. What have they done to my boy? So yeah, they absolutely butchered the player characters. Like, look, can, look at that. Like, ew, gross. <laughs> Once you're done designing your player, we can go ahead and click the play option, which brings us to, oh my goodness. Yeah, they took out all the fun about the menus of Carnival Games. 
and also the open world aspect of the DS version, which sucks. It really, really sucks. But hey, maybe I'm just being harsh about the menus. Let's check out some of the mini games. Time for the smoothest game on the midway. Three, two, one, go! Where are the motion controls? Yeah, there are no motion controls until you get a high score on the mini games. The Joy-Con is there, but you have to use the buttons until you get a high score. Who thought this was a good idea? Anyways, I beat these AI clowns and went on to another mini game in the space section. Ooh, I think this one's about drones flying or something. Yeah, the controls were super sensitive and it it just it was not good so carnival game switch has some all right mini games some bad ones not really good ones i didn't find one i specifically enjoyed maybe there are some in the unlockable mini games but it is safe to say this version is definitely the worst version of carnival games you can get by ds buy the ds version if you're gonna play carnival games because that's the best version available on the market today you know what maybe one of these days i'll get new carnival games or carnival games mini golf or that that western one that i saw on the xbox store and do a review on those because i i think this was a really fun video to make uh it's a bit different from anything i'd usually post but I think it's all right. Anyways, that's it for me today, you know. Subscribe and all that, and uh, see you later. Oh, and one more thing. Carnival games for the Switch should be considered a war crime in all countries. Thank you.